Hello everyone, welcome to the series of Mathematical Economics. In this video, I am going to discuss the numerical example. Numerical example for unconstrained optimization. Unconstrained optimization. You can find more videos on uh, mathematical economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and uh, press the bell icon. Now let's uh, begin with the uh, conditions. So what are the optimization conditions? Optimization conditions. For maximization, and for minimization, so suppose we have a function y is equal to f of x. This is our function that we want to either maximize or minimize. For maximization, the first order differentiation must be equal to 0. That is first condition. And second condition says that second order differentiation must be less than 0. For minimization, first order differentiation is equal to 0 and second order differentiation must be greater than 0. Now let's understand uh, maximization problem. Maximization problem. So suppose we have a profit function A firm's profit function pi q is equal to minus 2 q square plus 40 q minus 100. So, suppose this is equation number 1. Now, we want to maximize this. So, first we need to differentiate this with respect to q. So, therefore, first order condition foc. So, d pi by dq must be equal to 0. Therefore, we need to differentiate this function with respect to q. So, let us see it is minus 4q plus 40 is equal to 0. Therefore, 4q is equal to 40. Therefore, q is equal to 40 by 4. So, we can say that q is equal to 10. But before we conclude, we need to check the second order differentiation. So, now let us find the square pi by dq square which is equal to, now this is first order differentiation, we need to differentiate this with respect to q again and therefore it is minus 4, now this is less than 0. So, here we can easily say that second order differentiation is less than 0, first order differentiation is equal to 0 and therefore this function that is profit, profit is maximized, profit is maximized when q is equal to 10. 
now we need to find the profit and therefore we substitute q the value of this in the uh, into the profit function so therefore pi 10 is equal to now what is our profit function pi let's note it down again pi is equal to minus 2 q square plus 40 q minus 100 so pi 10 is minus 2 into 10 raised to square plus 40 into 10 minus 100 so this is minus 2 into 100 plus 400 minus 100 so this is equal to minus 200 plus 400 minus 100 so answer is 100 so maximum profit this firm can earn is 100 now let's understand minimization problem let us discuss minimization problem now suppose we have a cost function firms cost function cq is equal to q square minus 12 q sorry capital q q square minus 12 q plus 60 suppose this is equation number 2 now we want to minimize it so first order condition is dc by dq is equal to 0 so therefore we differentiate this function with respect to q so it is 2q minus 12 is equal to 0 therefore 2q is equal to 12 q is equal to 12 by 2 so therefore q is equal to 6 let's check second order condition d square c upon d q square so here we have the first order differentiation now you differentiate this with respect to q again so it is 2 which is greater than 0 so therefore second order condition says that the value is greater than 0 so this function is minimized the cost function is minimized when q is equal to 6 now let's find the minimum cost so therefore c6 now what is our cost function let's note down again the cost function cq is q square minus 12q plus 60 so we substitute the value of q here so c6 is 6 square minus 12 into 6 plus 60 so this is 36 minus 72 plus 60 so answer is 20 4 so cost is minimized and it is 24 so this is the idea of unconstrained optimization either maximization or minimization through calculus if you find this video useful kindly like share comment and subscribe thank you